and what's up everyone welcome back to another video it's me eclipse and today i'm going to be testing why's vector stop x against uh, ng red lime because i've been suggested this and the person who suggested it is a long time viewer and he also said i mean they also said they um you know that i'll be impressed with the results so you know of course i had to get myself a copy of this and I'm going to clone uh, this one just in case and now I'm going to go to settings and uh, re-enable real-time protection but before that I'm just gonna go through the settings quickly so we have auto launch that's normal we have real-time protection you can set it up I don't know how exactly you have machine learning you can you know normal low high aggressive I'm guessing this is for extreme scenarios only action threat detection you can notify quarantine or block only I'll do notify for now <clears throat> automatic updates that's fine automatically download and install program updates it's fine proxy server if you want to you can then we have advanced so this is all the advanced stuff so I'm going to enable real-time protection after that but yeah we have we have anti uh, ransomware. We have a behavior and deception wise, which is very interesting. And we have ransomware rollback, which I don't quite understand how. So let me see. Purpose of ransomware rollback is to backup files changed by suspicious programs real time revert change. Oh, nice. So basically, it backs up your folders and then destroys the ransomware what I'm thinking and then re like replenishes them back interesting prevent wise vector X from being killed that's nice you know I've seen a lot of programs like this do that so real-time deep memory inspection interesting instruction tr instruction tracer I don't know what that is but I guess we'll check out Web protection, we have web protection, firewall, network intrusion detection, so network attacks, firewall. <clears throat> they have low rule based, automatic, high, maximum block all, which is overkill, like honestly. Show notification application has blocked by rule set, you have that. Help five malware by providing threat statistics, that is threat statistics and nothing else. So <clears throat> not with done with that I think we should enable real-time protection and you know run the file so let's run the file it was detected so very cool so it was detected nice so that was with real-time protection it was blocked so now let's slowly move down and enable and enable less and less things and see how it does it's still gonna block it or not That's what I'm curious about it was blocked even though real-time protection was off very cool yep we have both were blocked now we go to advanced and I think we should disable this and we should put hips on maximum and see if hips is gonna block it <clears throat> this is actually so cool I've never I've never thought I was gonna do this good so now I have hips still active and I'm waiting if hips does anything <clears throat> alright just waiting we have network protection Angela Lime is trying to communicate with a remote address which is you see where it's provided so this is the target which is the private one mm. you can do any of this I will terminate it but as I do that I did expect this because it has some prevention systems because I have um, put the client the this is this expected because I put the NG red client process to I made the thing harder for the antivirus because I made the process unkillable if you kill it it blue screens so 
I did expect this. And as soon as it blocked the connection and killed it, of course it blue screened. But honestly, I think I think we I think I think it was blocked. I'm pretty sure it was, because if it wasn't, I don't think it would be much of a difference either way. I've never got a connection, so I think it was blocked, but then it died because, again, I, I hard-coded it into the client, so... I hard-coded the blue screen to the client, so this is what happened, but I've never actually checked if this actually works. So I don't know which error it was, might have just killed the critical process. Yeah, processor thread crucial crucial to system operation has been terminated. Yeah, so it basically killed the system process. And I'll by the way, I'll be back when it restarts because you're just gonna wait for way too long, and I don't want you guys to wait. So, yeah. Okay, we're back, and who we? Let's see what I can do with this now, because I'm interested. What's gonna do? So it seems it's all okay, but let's see if there's NG RAM memory. It seems like there is. Let's see if I got a connection. No connection, surprisingly. Oh, now it has a connection. Antivirus. It is not detected. Okay. So as soon as I, the hips basically detected it, but then it killed it. So you know, even though this time it did get a connection, I'm gonna count it as a block. Because. It did block it with the hips, which even though I hard coded it to be a bit more, you know, evil, this client to be a bit more evil. So if I would have just killed it, which let's see what happens if I turn on the protection back. Is it going to blue screen again? Or is it just going to kill it? It just kills it, I think. Yeah, it died. Oh, Vice Lector is not responding. Uh, okay, what's happening? I don't know. But so far, this has been pretty, f pretty fun. Uh, yeah. Kind of what I expected. So it did block it. Very interesting product, I might say. It doesn't break as soon as you, you know. I'm gonna turn on real time. I'm going to do a right click scan and heuristic detection something I did not expect so I love that animation by the way might make that an emoji on my discord server I'll see but yeah as you can see we have it did detect it so as heuristic something so that's very cool I guess so what do you have to say about wise vector? It does have some very interesting uh, detection mechanisms while even though I did disable the real-time protection and other things like uh, advanced malware protection and then just use the hips, the hips still manage it, managed to like intercept the connection and then it did blue screen the system but it did block it. So after that I guess it did not work quite well because it did get a connection but the thing is the hips already terminated it so I guess I couldn't be able to do anything anyways so even though I had it I probably couldn't do anything so you know that's pretty nice and I have this wallpaper somewhere but out of nowhere so yeah Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, viewer suggestions now, which, uh, you know, I mean, things you asked for. So uh, you guys asked for all of this. So I'm definitely going to be doing all of these, but I don't know when. So, yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you guys in another video.